Okay, hi everyone, welcome back and in today's update we are going to check out internet computer's price chart but before that we are going to talk about something really interesting happening on internet computer which is microfunding. So first things first, what is actually microfunding and why is it sort of kind of a big deal? You see, in simpler terms, microfunding is the process of raising small amounts of money from a lot of people to support specific ideas, campaigns, or maybe causes. It's kind of like crowdfunding, but maybe like more targeted and more flexible, and it is especially useful in decentralized communities. Now, here is the interesting part. The global crowdfunding market, which microfunding is kind of part of it, is already worth over, I think it was about $18 billion, and it is actually projected to reach to over $43 billion by 2028. And that, my friends, is absolutely massive. And if decentralized platforms start grabbing even even like a very small piece of that pie you can imagine the upside now let's get into what just happened recently on icp that makes this microfunding angle so so bullish so here's the situation somebody on twitter jumped on caffeine ai which is in case that you don't know it a no code ai powered decentralized app builder running fully on chain on icp and the user basically said to Caffeine, hey, make me a microfunding platform. And boom, in just and just only three prompts, Caffeine built a fully functioning decentralized microfunding app called Microfund. And it even runs absolutely trustlessly. Let's break down what those three prompts were and why every single one of them matters quite a bit. So let's start by prompt one. And in here, the user asked Caffeine to replace the payment agreement system from a cloned app called Paypacks with donation-based campaigns. The user also in prompt one requested a couple of very, very important features. Number one, goal amount. Number two, deadline. Number three, support for different currencies, including fiat, stable coins, crypto, so on and so forth. Number four, a recipient. And number five, pledge and fulfillment tracking. And here is why this actually matters technically. You see, this single prompt introduced governments slash escrow layer on chain. In a normal dev cycle, this would take days and days to implement with manual smart contract coding and testing. But with Caffeine AI, well, this logic was deployed almost, almost instantly via only natural language. That is a major leap forward in agile smart contract deployment, especially for use cases like DAOs or community treasuries where trustless funding is very much the key. Now, let's move to prompt number two. And in here, the user asked Caffeine to completely redesign the interface in dark mode and add internet identity for secure logins. So now, number one, anybody can browse campaigns without logging in number two if you want to pledge you just use internet identity no wallet extensions no google signance and number three the app shows real-time donation progress visible donor list and even proof of donation from a technical perspective this shows that caffeine isn't just handling the backend logic no it is a full stack decentralized app builder and by using internet identity, you get zero knowledge privacy preserving authentication, which is one of the most important ICP's unique advantages. Most blockchains, well, they still struggle to make logging in secure and private. ICP, however, on the other hand, already is doing it and doing it very, very well. And finally, let's talk about the third prompt and this was about payments and admin controls. The user in here asked for number one, fiat support, number two, stable coin and crypto support, number three, donation converted to USD for global tracking, and number four, an admin dashboard to manage campaigns. This is where the on-chain meets the real world. The app can now accept both traditional and also decentralized money at the same time, and more importantly, every single thing from goal tracking to campaign extensions can be managed in one single place. All of this was generated without writing even a single line of code. And you need to really think about what that means. Number one, it means real world usability. Number two, it means real time financial logic and decentralized control. 
all rolled into one single product built from just and only three prompts now what does this mean for internet computers you see in my view this is the part where we zoom out and connect the dots caffeine ai is proving that you can build entire decentralized applications including front end back end identity payments admin all and all on chain without ai prompts and here is the thing no other blockchain at the moment is doing this at this significant level why because no other chain has number one on-chain compute that can handle full stack logic number two a native identity layer like for example internet identity number three no other blockchain has chain fusion which allows integration with services like for example stripe and number four no other blockchain has a cycle based fee system that burns tokens based on usage caffeine is quietly in my opinion showing us that icp is not just a simple l1 no it is the full infrastructure for a decentralized internet and you don't really need in this scenario aws you don't really need ipfs you don't really need traditional login systems and you don't even need developers really and you might ask well okay why is this so bullish for icp because this has a couple of very, very important signals. Number one, caffeine is trying to lower the barrier to decentralized app creation to basically zero, which is insane. Number two, non-developers can now, with the help of caffeine AI, create useful tools on chain. Number three, as these tools gain adoption, they burn more and more ICP cycles, meaning they are essentially reducing token supply. And number four, every single prompt equals more applications, equals more utility equals more deflation and equals what yep you guessed it right more long-term value this isn't just theoretical anymore microphone is already live other clones will probably follow and as more builders jump in the ecosystem basically expands and icp becomes the go-to place for ai generated privacy first real world ready apps so in conclusion microphone isn't just a cool side project no it is a live demo of the future and we are entering a world where decentralized apps are built in literally minutes they are fully on chain they are integrated with both web 2 and also web 3 and anybody and i really mean that anybody now not just developers is able to create decentralized apps most chains are still hyping the ai narrative at the moment but icp is already shipping it and that, my friends, is exactly why I am so, so bullish on ICP. And I really have a hard time believing that in this cycle, we are not going to have a magnificent baller. And by the way, I am sort of kind of convinced that we are going to get in this cycle a beautiful, beautiful alt season. And for all the reasons that we are talking about in pretty much every single video in terms of fundamentals and also technicals, I think our patience in internet computer will be rewarded big time. So overall great news for icp and we are going to keep just talking about caffeine ai more and more because i think we have so far only and only managed to scratch the surface now let's go on the live chart and see what is happening and i am now sort of kind of seeing optimistic size so if you remember the last time that we talked about icp we were right around these areas and the idea was that this can be like a w x y in form of possibly a flat and a zigzag maybe even a double zigzag not really that important generally we said i'm hoping that this is going to be a correction and the invalidation point for this bullish count is going to be taking the lowest low down here about 4.3 dollars i said as long as we are not taking the lows i think we are allowed to remain optimistic and soon we can have a decent move on the upside and hopefully that is going to mark our final low but here's a very important point you see if you want to argue that we're gonna have our final low around here i don't know let's say this is like a very very important support area okay absolutely fair enough show me off of the lowest low, a one two three four five in order for me to flip one thousand percent bullish now this specific example is called an impulsive structure. Rules for it are we should not have overlapping of the waves between wave 2 and 4 and in any kind of 5 wave, wave 3 is simply not allowed to be the smallest wave and in terms of the sub waves, you probably know what is going on in case that you are a regular viewer of the channel. 5 wave up into wave 1, 3 and 5, okay? And for wave 2 and 4, we can have different possibilities. 
not really that important honestly let's say abc into four and yep a w x y structure into wave two now let's go on the live charts and see what is happening and why right now i am actually quite optimistic in the computer maybe it's best to go on like 15 minute time frame and i think we can say look this is one followed by probably an abc flat into wave two decent move up into wave three correction for four and what are we having right now i'm really hoping that this is going to be another move up into wave five which means you know what maybe in icp the final low the low of this correction is already yet but does this mean right in here is actually a long opportunity for us at the moment i'm going to say no for two reasons number one we still haven't managed to get back above this important level which the higher band of it is around let's say 5.3 dollars number two even according to the most bullish count which suggests the final low is already in question what is going to happen after a five wave up you know the answer already we are going to have a move on the downside but here's the situation this move is going to be very very slow and choppy and between our pullbacks up you're just constantly going to be able to identify overlapping of the waves meaning overall we're gonna have a correction structure in here and then okay right around these areas assuming that we identify all the right sub waves can be i guess a decent long opportunity in hope that we get the next huge move up and why do i say the next big move up because this can be according to the most optimistic possibility five wave up into a wave one followed by a correction for wave two and what's going to be next incredible move up into wave three four five and in terms of Elias waves you want to remember that wave three is known to be quite strong and sharp that's exactly why i said after hopefully hopefully we get a consolidation pattern we can go long and hope for a very strong move up so overall in icp in the short term i think we are sort of kind of on the bullish track but right now it's too soon to be 100 bullish in my view we should just wait a little bit more and see the right structures and then count on yet another move up and if in this phase we manage to take this important high about let's say 5.9 dollars that's actually going to be a fantastic sign. Why? Because at that point, finding a 5 wave in here is going to be extremely, extremely challenging to a degree that is going to make anybody say, you know what, maybe the bullish count is happening and this is indeed a correction structure and our move up is simply not over yet. And I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in ICP. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next update, I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones. Goodbye.